Hey everyone, Alexander Mathias here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In this video, I just want to introduce you to the number one technique that I use to improve my saxophone tone. Now, if you're a sax player, you know all about long tones, you know all about the importance of playing mouthpiece and neck exercises, playing long tones on each note. But in this video, I want to talk to you about overtones. So overtones are a series of harmonics above a fundamental tone. So in this video, I'm going to give you an example of overtones above the low C on the saxophone. And then I want to get you to play your first overtone on the saxophone. So I am going to take you through this exercise step by step, but you can download a PDF of the exercise at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash overtone exercise. There's also a link in the description of this video. Now we're only going to scratch the surface of learning overtones today, but I do go into more depth inside my six weeks to saxophone success course and there's a link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. In that course, we're going to spend an entire week focusing on overtones, long tones, and other exercises to improve your saxophone tone. In the rest of the weeks, we talk about technique, scales, embellishments, improvisation, as well as playing by ear, which I think are the six most important things that you should be focusing on as a saxophone player. Okay, so let me just start by showing you some of the overtones on the low C. Okay, so we start on low C, which is three fingers on the left, three fingers on the right, and our pinky on that low key here. So we want to try and get a good long tone on that. Now I'm going to go up the overtone series one by one. Okay, so that's just the first four overtones based on the low C on the saxophone. So I didn't actually change the fingering. I kept holding down low C the entire time and then moved up the overtone series just by using my breast support, embouchure, and also hearing the notes in my head as I went up the series. So this takes a while to really get accurate and to develop, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you can begin this process. So the first thing you wanna know is what is the first overtone? So I'm gonna play it for you again. Okay, so that first overtone is the C above the low C, an octave above. It's this note. So the first thing we want to do is play that note and hear it in our mind. So that's the note we're trying to get. So when we play the low C and we want to get the first overtone, we're aiming at getting that middle C. So the best way to start, in my opinion, is to just play that middle C and then quickly move down to the low C. Okay, so that's the final result that you want. You want to be switching from middle C all the way down to low C, but getting the same note. Let me play for you again. Okay, so this takes time to develop. The first thing you want to do is actually just practice with just your fingers without playing, like this. So we start on middle C, and we just practice going down to that low C like that. All right, try not to lift your fingers too high off the keys, like this. You don't want to, you know, you want to keep your fingers pretty close to the keys while you're pressing down every note, including that low C. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to practice. Once you kind of get used to that, once you kind of get comfortable with that, then you want to start playing. So the idea is that you start on that middle C. And once you're playing that middle C, you want to sort of hear it in your mind. You want to hear that note and you want to aim to be playing that note while you're fingering the low C on the instrument. Okay, so a lot of this has to do with the way you're hearing it in your mind. So let's try it slowly like this. Now what might happen is that you get the note initially, but then you kind of lose it and it goes down to that low C like this. So you can hear there that I got the note initially at the beginning, but then it cracked and it went down to the low C. This is perfectly normal when you're starting out. 
So the goal is to hold that low C and still get that middle C sound for as long as possible, like this. So that's the goal, is to hold that overtone for as long as possible without cracking. Now another thing that might happen is that you go up even higher on the overtone series. So instead of that middle C, you're playing the next overtone, the high G, like this. Okay, so there I jumped up to the next overtone, which is G. That's not necessarily a bad thing because we still want to be able to get the other overtones, but you should be trying to focus in on just getting that middle C. So try to focus in on just playing that middle C and holding it for as long as possible. Now there's a bunch of little tricks that you can do to help yourself improve on this exercise and I go into way more detail inside six weeks to saxophone success. But in the meantime, just keep working on that. Keep trying to get that first overtone and don't move on until you've really got it perfect. Eventually you want to be able to just play the overtone without starting on middle C, like this. Another thing to keep in mind is to keep your throat as open as you can while you're playing. You also want to get as much breath support as you can, so you want to be taking a deep diaphragmatic breath when you're playing these overtones. Another trick is to practice in the corner of a room when you're practicing these overtones, especially when you're trying to go from the middle C down to the low C but trying to match the same note. It's almost like the wall then echoes that middle C and it helps you to get that sound when you're playing the low C. I'm sure there's a bigger scientific explanation to why it works, but it really does help and I recommend just trying that if you're getting frustrated and you're not able to get that first overtone. So this is the first thing you want to work on and this is what I work on every time I warm up on the saxophone. So see how you get on with that and once you have that first overtone down, you can start moving up the overtone series. The next overtone, the second overtone, is going to sound like a G with the octave key and then the third overtone is going to sound like a C with the octave key. So that's two octaves above that low C. So it's going to take a while to develop the ability to play these overtones. It's actually a very difficult thing to do. But start with that technique I just showed you to get the first overtone on the low C and then move your way down to B and B flat doing the same process. Once you've got that first overtone on C, B and B flat consistently, then you can move on to the second overtone and so forth. Alright guys, I really hope you found this video helpful and you learned about overtones today. Again, if you want to learn more in depth about how to improve your tone with overtones, long tones and other exercises, my course Six Weeks to Saxophone Success is open right now and I'm accepting a limited number of students. So check that out, there's a link in the description. In the meantime, I put out videos every single week on YouTube, so please subscribe, like this video if you found it helpful, and comment below if there's anything you want me to cover in future lessons. Until next time, happy playing.